Codex is another powerful VS Code extension similar to Klein and Cursor. To install Codex, first make sure you have VS Code installed in your computer and after that you go to setting, you open extensions and in extension you just search for Codex. Make sure you install this, this one with the OpenAI logo and also developed by OpenAI. So just click on uh, install. Once done installing, you will see this install pop up and also disable, meaning that your uh, extension is successfully installed. Now you go to the left sidebar and just open up Codex from here. Now we are successfully inside the Codex and uh, we are greeted with the sign in display. So once you install for the very first time, you will just click on sign in and just click on open. For me, I'm using Google account to log in. I'm just going to log in using the Google account. We're successfully signed in to Codex. Now we can simply go back to VS Code and we see uh, we are successfully signed in inside. Now we just click next, next, next. Now we have Codex uh, 5, uh, try GPT-5 Codex and we also have GPT-5. So GPT-5 is our normal model that everybody is using. And GPT-5 Codex is another version of GPT-5 that is developed for Codex. So uh, for me, I personally prefer normal GPT-5, which gives me better response as compared to Codex. So you can play around with both. But for me, I will just continue with GPT-5. In here, you can see we have our prompt window where you can ask Codex to do tasks for you. You have your, you can add context as image or any file that you want to add. Uh, so here you have few options where you can choose your model. So inside model, you have the GPT, uh, especially for Codex, you have those model and you also have for uh, normal GPT models. So you have minimal, low, medium, high. High is going to give you the best performance, but it's going to take longer time. Medium, low and minimal. I feel like this is the sweet spot when you are doing uh, coding using this tool. Then we have mode. We have chat and plan mode and is in mode similar to client uh, when using chat or plan mode i would like you to set it to gpt5 high as it's a good thingy model so it will plan out very well then you can switch to agent mode and your codex will start developing your system or your tool inside the agent mode it's better to use the medium model if you're using the high it's going to take a long time just to process and work on your project. It's going to take a long time to finish up working on a project. And also have agent with full access, meaning that it can access your internet and edit files outside the work space. I would rather you ignore this one, agent with full access, just use agent mode or you will approve everything that the codex want to do. Then you also have work locally, meaning that your files and everything is going to be saved inside your computer. Codex, they also have a web version, web interface, where you can actually access their web interface and develop things over there. But as we're using the VS Code extension, it's better to set it work locally. Uh, if you send code to cloud, meaning that uh, they have access to your code. So uh, at the top, you also have a setting. You have Codex setting, you have IDE setting, as well as your mcb settings and keyboard shortcut and you have a new chat option over here you can easily create new chats you can also if you are working with codex then multiple projects you're working on multiple project you can go to task history and just switch between the task whenever you want or maybe you have to look something previous task just you can just access through this this is very simple and easy so now let's ask codex to build something for us so to use the codex make sure you have access or you have subscribed to gpt5 plus and before you start working on your project make sure you open a folder in your vs code so here i have a prompt for codex uh, build me a simple responsive portfolio website using only html css and js and let's see uh, how it handles so i will start with the chat and plan mode and i will set the model to high so we're just planning out everything step by step okay now as you can see we're done planning now we're going to switch our model to medium and also we're going to switch our mode to agent mode and after that we're going to move on and just ask it to build our portfolio website for us now it's just going to do some thinking and start writing the code for us in between you have to give permission because we're inside the agent mode meaning that you have to give 
approval for every file that you want to change, every file that it wants to create. So as you can see, our codex has successfully developed our portfolio website. Here we have very simple, we have index.html, we have script.js and also style.css. So let's see what uh, our codex has built for us, we'll go live. This is the portfolio website codex has built us for single prompt. Again, really nice. How about the buttons? This is working. Uh, the contact is not aligned properly. It's really good actually. So let's see like if it's the mobile view working or not. Okay. Okay. Now we are talking. The mobile view is also working. This tab is not working. <laughs> unfortunately so yeah there is some but there are some bugs but really nice so far uh, everything is very smooth very well thought out so yeah give it a go codex is a really good but for me uh, using the client I have more freedom of choosing different different models so and also a client gives you plan mode and also act mode when you're working with very complex projects you can break it down into smaller subsection maybe smaller phases and do one by one in this case in codex is also very similar very very simple it's very big enough very much big enough friendly let's give it a try and hopefully it's definitely worth your time but the only downside is you need at least a plus subscription for the chat gpt to use it in the free version it's not available at least for me i couldn't use it with my account